Despite lower fertility rates in developed countries, the world's population continues to grow, mostly in the planet's poorest countries. In less than two years, the global population will reach 7 billion, according to the Population Reference Bureau, a nonprofit group in Washington, D.C. Carl Hobb co-authored its report. At the moment, uh, the world is adding 1 billion population every 12 years. And it took us until 1800, however many millions of years that uh, humans have been walking the earth, to reach our first billion. In sub-Saharan Africa, birth rates are high and mortality rates have slowed. Campaigns against killers like HIV, AIDS and malaria are producing results. Africa will add one billion people in the next 40 years, according to the report. A woman in Niger at today's birth rate would give birth to, on average, 7.4 children. Already, 80 percent of the world's children live in Africa and Asia. This large, non-productive segment of the population needs services, schools, health centers, and eventually jobs. To have a large number of youth uh, who have no education or barely literate is not an advantage. And that, I think, is one of the big challenges facing developing countries. John F. May is a demographer at the World Bank. He says in Africa, only 10 out of 100 children will finish secondary school. 1% will go to college. I think the strength of a country is not linked to the number of people, but it's uh, linked to the number of educated people, people who are in good health, who can have productive life. On the other hand, developed nations have lower birth rates. Europe and East Asia have the lowest. Taiwan has the lowest birth rate in the world, an average of one child per woman. Higher education and the migration to cities are factors for lower birth rates, May says. China and India both have over one billion people, the largest populations in the world. They will soon switch places. Sometime in the 2020s, which is not that far off, uh, India will become the largest country in population uh, in the world, surpassing China. Food production continues to be a challenge. However, Hobbes says much of the hunger in the world is not because food is lacking, but because people are impoverished. Half of the population of the developing world lives in what the World Bank defines as extreme poverty, less than $2 per day. And that is the group that's growing faster. Demographers agree that population growth, especially in Africa, will fuel migration to urban areas. As a result, cities could become even more massive, difficult to manage, with large pockets of poverty and slums. For producer Zulima Palacio, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News.